Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be talking about how to frontside blend slide on a rail. And later in this video, I'll be talking about how to frontside blend slide on a ledge or a hubba, however you wanna talk about it. So, to get into it, frontside blunt on a rail is very tedious because it could be tricky at times. Um, what I mean by tricky, whether you're trying front blunt to fakey or front blunt back to regular, they're both very difficult in their own way. So, I'm gonna be talking about how I prefer to do them and how there's another trick that could help you out too. So, to get into front side blunt slide, you just wanna be able to ollie and like just get into the motion of just pretending like you're doing a back tail or just hopping over, hopping over and just putting all that pressure down on the rail. Not too much, cause then the board will fly out this way, like that. So, you get on and you just try to hold it. And the thing with front side blunt slide, depending on which way your shoulders are, like if your shoulders are facing like this, you're gonna come out back to regular. But if you're facing out like that, like if you're doing a back 180 motion, you're definitely gonna do a front blunt fakie. For me, this is way easier than front blunt back to regular. This is just my experience. Front side blunt slide shove it. That is way easier than a front blunt back to regular. Just cause I have trouble with my shoulders going back to regular so the two easiest of the front blunts on a rail for me are front side blunt slide fakie front side blunt slide shove it so that's just front side blunt slide back 180 front side blunt slide shove it and keep in mind i'm goofy so if you're regular then it'll be the opposite for you like not opposite trick but like but whenever i'm doing this motion but those that's my trick tip on front side blunt slide one thing the other thing is you want to make sure that the rail is waxed because it can get difficult at times like just by you going your wheels will be taking off the wax off the rail and there's nothing really else to it but just get a nice amount of speed because speed does play a big role in this trick if you want to slide longer uh, depending on if you just want a baby tap like you just get on and off then you'll just get on and off other than that, that's it for this section. Now, I'm gonna be talking about the ledge part right now. All right guys, this is the second part of the front side blunt side trick tip, and this one is on ledges, not the rails. Le the rails was in the beginning. So, for the first tip I wanted to talk to you guys about is, it could be easy or difficult for you guys on the rail, but for me, I'm gonna be honest, for me the easiest is the ledge. I really enjoy doing front side blunt slides on ledges. The reason why is I just feel more secured as in like I know I'm gonna get on and I know I'm gonna slide no matter what. On a rail it's unpredictable for me because I don't know if it's my wheels or the way I get on. I definitely sometimes get stuck on a rail but on a ledge if I wax it or if it's already good enough it'll definitely go without a doubt for me. And the thing about uh, the ledge that is different is you definitely have to pop out if you want to go to fakie like you you can just kind of slide it off like you could just do this motion like but whenever I do front side blunt slide to fakie to, on a ledge I definitely go in and I use it and I pop out so how I said you can shove out easier than going out to regular on a rail for the ledge is definitely different uh, going to regular on the ledge is way easier than any of them for me. Shoulders, same thing as the rail section. You really want to have your, have your shoulders ready to go whichever way you want. So if you want to go to fakie, have your shoulders ready to turn out like a back 180. And if you want them to regular, just make sure you swing them back like a front board. Like you want to just come back like, so just front blunt and pull out that that's it so these are my trick tips or these are the advice that i i'm giving you guys let me know what you guys think uh let me know in the comment section if you guys thought i could have done better in the song uh, talking about this and don't forget to like share and subscribe leave a comment of what trick you guys want to see next so 
Have a good day. Later.